Kia ora, and here's the second part of question three from last year's exam. So this is a bit of a step up from the last one because this is parts D and E. D is a merit question and E is an excellence question. Um, they're both really cool questions. I hope you enjoy doing them. Right, so this first one is looking at the graphs of two functions and they're shown below. Now the graphs intersect and they, they create two closed regions, A and B. Your job is to show that these two regions have got the same area. So the first thing you're probably going to want to figure out is where are these intersection points. Okay, But before we do that, we can take a look at the two functions and see which one is which in my graph. Okay, So this one here, um, f of x is negative x squared plus 2. That one's going to be an upside down parabola that's been shifted up two units. So that's very good to look at first because that tells me that this point here is going to be um, 0, 2. Now it also tells me that for this area here, for b, we're going to be wanting to work out the top function minus the bottom one, so that will be f of x minus g of x. And over here it's going to be the other way around, it's the cubic above the quadratic. Okay, so now we just have to get on with equating f and g and solving for a value of x. So let's do that. We get negative x squared plus 2, this is f of x, equals x cubed minus x squared minus kx plus 2. So we can see pretty much straight away that a whole lot of stuff simplifies out. And we're left with x cubed minus kx equals 0. So factorising that we get x into x squared minus k is 0 and we recognise that this is a difference of two squares. I'm not a particularly obvious one, not, not a kind of year 11 one, but we're going to get x equals 0 or let's look x squared minus k equals 0 in other words x plus root k times x minus root k equals 0. So that tells me that these three points are 0, which we already knew from before, or x equals root k up here, and x equals negative root k, which is down here. So what we're asked to show is that the regions A and B have got the same area. So I'm going to do that on the next slide. Alright, now I'm, hopefully you've sketched what we're looking at, because I'm going to try and do it again, but the first one to sketch if you're doing this at home is do the parabola first, and then, oh, what a disaster, there we go. Let's try that. Hmm, I'm not sure that this is going to... Right, we'll try that. Is that about right? I think that's good enough for what we're after. So this region here, B, we want to show is equal to A. Now obviously it doesn't look like it anymore. What we want to find is area A is going to be the integral from 0 to negative root K. And this is G of X minus F of X dx. And this one here is the integral from root k to 0, and it's the other way around. It's f of x minus g of x dx. Alright, so what we'll do next is we just pop in the values here. Um, so what's g of x minus f of x for area A? Well, g of x was my cubic, so it was x squared, x cubed minus x squared minus kx plus 2 minus negative x squared plus 2. So you might as well um, do your simplifying before you start scribbling down your integral. So that equals x cubed, and we've already seen this when we were solving, that we get minus x squared plus x squared plus 2 minus 2. So this is simply x cubed minus kx. 
So now we're ready to integrate that in here, and we're going to get from 0 to negative k, sorry, negative root k, of x cubed minus kx dx. Oh, I'm just going to carve that out there so I get a little bit more room. Okay, you, you go ahead and work that out now and pause the video, come back when you've finished. Okay, so what you should have here is the integral of 1 quarter x to the power of 4 minus k on 2 x squared from 0 to negative root k. I'm just going to insert a new slide so that we can evaluate that and then do area b. Okay, so 1 quarter x to the 4 minus k on 2 x squared from 0 to negative root k. So that equals 0 minus 0 minus, okay, 1 quarter times this to the power of 4 is just going to give us k squared minus k on 2, negative root k squared is going to give me k. So all of that works out to be 0 minus a quarter minus a half of k squared. So it's minus negative 1 quarter k squared, which is just k squared on 4. So now what we've got to do is show that area B is the same thing. Now, this, right, so for this one the parabola is the top function. So it's negative x squared plus 2 minus the cubic like that. Right, simplifying out, we get the integral of negative x cubed plus kx dx. which gives us negative x to the 4 on 4 plus k on 2x squared root k 0, which is negative k squared on 4 plus k squared on 2, which again is k squared on 4 as required. So we've shown the two things are the same. Right? Now there are some smarter, shorter ways to do that problem um, involving what happens when I change the limits of integration but I haven't done it like that here I've done basically exactly what they did in the assessment schedule so if you're interested in seeing another way to do that you could ask me in class okay now on to the excellence question okay an object starts from rest and its acceleration is given by the formula a equals b times e to the kt squared um, we should read the question through first, but we should already be thinking that we can simplify that formula quite nicely. So A is the acceleration, and T is the time in seconds from when it started moving, and we, are need, we have to show that the time it takes to get to a certain velocity, V0, can be written as this formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve the differential, uh, sorry, solve the um, velocity equation for T. In other words, we're going to make T the subject of the formula. Right, so first of all, let's look at A. Well, A is equal to B times E to the power of 2 kT. Right, how do I get velocity? Well, velocity comes from anti-differentiating, acceleration. So we'll do that. And we get V of T is equal to, well, the B is just going to sit there, B times 1 over 2 k e to the 2kt plus c. Right, now we need some more information. Well, we know that t is the time from when the object started moving, so that's telling me that it started moving at time 0, so it wasn't moving at 0, so v of 0 is equal to 0. So we're going to use that to solve for the constant, so that's going to be on the next slide. So let's just recap. We've got to here, V of T is 1 over 2K B E to the 2KT 
plus c, and we've got v of 0 is equal to 0, and that's equal to 1 over 2k, b, e to the 0, plus c. So c is not 0 in here. b over 2k plus c equals 0. So c is equal to negative b over 2k. Now that tells me that my velocity at any time is equal to 1 over 2k, or b over 2k, e to the 2kt, minus b over 2k. Um, and just cleaning that up a bit, we get... What am I doing? I'm just putting it all over 2k. Right, so we have b times e to the 2k t minus 1. Now what we want to do is to show how long does it take to reach any particular velocity. So now we're going to say, let's, let's work from now with that particular velocity, and we're going to solve for t. So we have v0, some velocity, is equal to b over 2k times e to the 2kt minus 1. So we're done with calculus, we're just down to a little bit of algebra. Um, cross multiplying, we'll get 2k times v0 over b equals e to the 2kt minus 1. Right, adding the 1 onto both sides, we get 2k v0 on b plus 1 is equal to e to the 2kt. Now we need to get that t down from the exponent, so we're going to take some logs on a new slide. So we have 2k v0 on b plus 1 equals e to the 2kt. Cleaning that up first, 2k v0 plus b on b is equal to e to the 2kt. I'm going to take logs of both sides. So the log of 2 v naught k plus b on b, looks like bok, whatever that is, is equal to, I'll do it really slowly, the log of e to the power of that, which is just 2 kt. So t is equal to 1 over 2 k times the natural log of 2 v naught k plus b on b as required. Now if you had a strategy for where you were going I actually think that's quite an easy excellence question because all you've got to do is to anti-differentiate, realize that the speed initially must have been zero um, and get an expression for v of t and then rearrange that expression to make t the subject of the formula. Okay, so um, hopefully that makes sense, and um, I'll start doing the 2014 paper soon. Thanks for watching.